Hey, how's it going? I wanted to take some time today to make this video in regards to my goals and ambitions as a software developer and cloud practitioner, hopefully soon AWS certified developer associate. And I wanted to make this video specifically about the companies I want to work for, okay? I've been connecting on LinkedIn with people, making connections and networking. I went to the AWS Summit in New York City um, last week, which was great. But I've also been sending out applications in this field and I've been working on a lot of my own projects as well which I believe is just as important if not even more important now one company or one subsection of companies that I'm interested in working for are edtech companies and the biggest one that comes to mind is PowerSchool. So I, before I started doing the software development and cloud engineering full time, I was a high school Spanish teacher for six years at two different schools. And at my last school, we used PowerSchool to manage student attendance, grades, communication, uh, parent emails were stored there. We used it every day. So I became really intrigued with how this software worked, okay? And how I, w I was trying to imagine how the, the backend was, was built. So, Around January, I started developing my own LMS software, similar to PowerSchool, similar to Google Classroom, called Vig LMS, which is now fully deployed in the cloud through Google Cloud and, and uses some AWS services such as RDS, the database. Now, I worked on this for a couple months and I definitely had some challenges, to say the least, but I can stand here, or sit here, rather, and say that it is fully functional, okay? It obviously, like any software, it's going to need maintenance, and there's things I want to change, and, you know, there's always things that, that I, I look at. And I think, hey, I could do this better. But it's a passion project at the end of the day. And in Big LMS, you can do almost essentially everything PowerSchool can do. You can enroll students. You can change their overall grade. You can input assignments, grade the assignments. You can take attendance. You can upload files, like in Google Classroom, right, during the pandemic when, well, especially during remote teaching or remote learning. That was something that was crucial, okay? So also you, you can, the students can create an account and check their grades. They can see what their um, teachers have posted and they can also upload their own um, assignments as well, or their own documents as well for the teachers to see. There can, and that is backed by an AWS S3 bucket, okay? There's also a messaging system built in, direct message, so they can direct message. And teachers can also publish announcements to the entire class as well that the students can see on their portal. 
and yeah, I, I coded the, the registration, login, reset password functionality all by myself as well. Built with Flask and HTML, CSS on the front end. Now, the front end is something that obviously I, I do think I need some work, but I'm not trained in front end and I don't have any uh, real aspirations to, to do front end. I did a back end software development boot camp and now I'm looking uh, at, at some more cloud computing deployments type paths because deployment is super necessary. It, you can code an app, but how do you make it scalable and how highly available? Okay. So I can sit here all day and talk about that. And to be honest, I, I've kind of put VLMS on the back burner to study for some AWS certifications. I am I passed the cloud, cert, cloud practitioner certification last month and I'm studying for the developer associate. And then I'm working on actually a, a new app uh, to learn Spanish. And obviously I look at the LMS and I, I try to to brush it up, but I'm just kind of leaving it where it is for now. And it's not as massive as a power school or a Google Classroom, but it's what it could well easily be on its way. Okay, so the other day when I when I applied for this power school, I believe it was called associate software developer position. I I don't think there was an option for me to upload a cover letter, which is something that most job applicants don't don't really enjoy, to be honest. But I just have a couple of things I want to throw out their hiring team or whoever is coming across my application. And we all struggle with imposter syndrome or am I good enough or uh, are people going to judge me? But this is one avenue that I can, I can confidently say to power school. How many of your applicants have a used your software on a daily basis for four years? And B, how many of your applicants have also developed their own gradebook system and deployed it to the cloud? So those are two things I can confidently say if they're looking through their applicants, okay? Now, I understand there's plenty of talented software developers out there, people who could probably spit an algorithm from front to back, but I prefer to actually build things and see the step-by-step -step process, okay? So think and consider that, please. I, I hope so. I hope that this video articulates my point because I think a lot of people when they go into software they they just want to take any job which I get we all have to work at the end of the day and I'm passionate about what I do but I want to still work in education and build and maintain software and infrastructure for students and teachers alike and parents frankly so this is kind of the realm that i'm having some tunnel vision in so again i just hope that at the very least i would i would love to be able to to speak with someone over there at least let me speak with you so that I can, I can articulate this in person and maybe show you a little bit about what I've been doing. So someone who's passionate about your software, who's used your software, who's created a somewhat copycat, albeit it's not as globally massive 
as PowerSchool, but I can confidently say that this is something that I've accomplished. So thank you for tuning in, and I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day.